Welcome back guys! Today we're going to be going over the objectives, the achievements, special offers, the growth pack um, that we covered in my live streams. I'm going to show you all of the new additions that have been made in the update 1.5. Additionally, this is only one of many, many parts of the update that we covered um, during the live stream. So I've made a playlist of all of the changes that came out in the 1.5 update, and they're in a playlist in the link in the description below if you guys want to check that out as well. Without further ado, let's start at the top with objectives. Aquaman event has started. When you complete five daily objectives, um, you can claim free Aquaman shards. Uh, silver Aquaman shards. Uh, this event lasts four weeks, so you better start fighting. Okay, that's awesome. First off, that they told you it's only going to last for four weeks. Because um, they didn't tell you how long the Mythic one or the Silver Wonder Woman was going to last. So that's pretty cool. Four weeks from today. Uh, it says that I've already claimed the shards for him. Which, I've already claimed the shards for Wonder Woman. But, pfft, whatever. Um, if we wanted to, we could claim his shards by doing our log on for tomorrow. Doing that uh, time zone glitch and do it that way. Okay, achievements. Come on, give me some good achievements. Uh, okay, so account leveling, you get a hundred uh, gems. Did we always get a hundred gems, or was it fifty? Does anybody know? I'm not sure. Um, but they have added in additional normal battle rewards. So let's see if we if we collect these, or whether it's going to give us any other rewards. So, this is Chapter 3, Battle 6, for Flash. Ugh. Then they give us Chapter 4, Battle 6, for Normal, which is Cyborg. And then they give us Chapter 5, Battle 12, which is Robin. Ah, there we go. And then Chapter 5, 24. And then Chapter 6 for Chapter 12! And then battle chapter 6, 18. Damn! And then 24, Gorilla Grodd. And then 7, 12. And then 7, 18. I think that's all I get, though. Oh, maybe 24. Oh, yeah, I've beaten chapter 7. I forgot. Then 24. Then chapter 8, 12. I'm not sure why they don't do chapter 8, 6, but whatever. Okay, so it looks like... I have to beat the entirety of the game on normal mode before I get heroic mission um, rewards, maybe? I don't know. I think that might be the case, because I didn't get anything for heroic missions yet. Maybe they're only doing it on normal mode, but I think that they used to give um, heroic mission uh, gems as well. So I think i got to beat Chapter 8, 24 now, next. So yeah, I think that's I think that's the case. But that is sick that they uh, that they included that. Um, I got a whole bunch. I almost got two K gems now. Um, upgrade a hero to level sixty. It's the same. All of this is the same. Ability, ability. It's only for um, coins. Ability to fifteen for coins. Um, upgrade a gear to twenty five. It's still coins. Um, unlock eighteen heroes. It maxes out at eighteen. Arena battles still maxes out at a thousand battles. Um, the daily objectives, I only need two more, but it looks like that's probably going to max out at a thousand as well. Operations maxes out at a, at a thousand as well. And then story mode five, there is 50 gems to be able to get for beating uh, chapter two. Uh, so let's go to the growth pack real quick and just check it out. So it's 20 bucks US. Uh, and it gets you uh, 4,000 gems. Is that what it says? Boost your progress and unlock 4,000 power gems as you level up. So um, as you level, pretty simple, you get these specific rewards if you unlock the, the pack for uh, 20 bucks. So essentially 20 bucks would get me 4,000 gems. Is that, what, is that what they said? Let me see. How much are other packs in relationship to that? So the power pack, I can't click, but it definitely didn't give me 4,000. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you look at it, the the closest one to 4,000 gems is 50 bucks right here. So it's a good price, uh, but it's obviously an only uh, only a one-time deal. 
So it's a good price for 20 bucks because the closest you've got is the Wayne Family Fortune for 20 bucks, and that only gets you 1,250. So okay, so let's go ahead and get this pack. I think we get an animation, right? Oh shit. Okay, I gotta type my shit in off screen so you guys don't go hacking my shit. I think I did it. Purchase was successful. Okay. All right, so we've got them. So it looks like just because I'm um, at level 40 and that's the maximum level that these seem to go to because I've got 50, I've got through 55, right? But the growth only goes through level 40 for now. Maybe in the future, they'll have it boost up higher. And if you've already bought the growth pack, you'll just get those things um, automatically like we are right now. But as of now, um, it looks like it only goes to level 40, which is fine. Um, and then right at level 40, you get a thousand gems. You know what's weird is just looking at this account or level one, you get 750, which is cool. But then level 10 drops down to 250. Then you have to make it to level 20 for 400, then level 30 for 700. And instead of um, being two for a thousand, you only get one for a thousand, which I guess is okay. It's cool. Just information. You get all these SIM cards and coins and shit too. Um, so let's go ahead and claim all of this. This is awesome! Look at all these fucking gems! Alright. So. Now that we've got like... 7,000 gems or 6,000 gems. Let's go ahead and upgrade some characters! Um, so we're gonna upgrade uh, Flash. Boom. Oh, it just gives you 200 shards. Okay, so that's good to know. If you do the upgrade, it gives you 200 shards. It doesn't um, just get you to the next level. Like, it didn't put me right at 200 shards. You know what I mean? It it boosted me that far. Uh, so it gave me exactly 200. So if I had 50 shards for Flash already, then it would end up giving me exactly 200 plus the 50. So I'd have 250 shards left. So it's not screwing you out of 50 shards is what I'm trying to get. Right? So finish that. That's sick. Um, I think I will. Um, okay, so then we've got the Soul Stealer Dr. Fate. Let's upgrade his ass too. Um, so I should have 201 shards because you can see that... Um, <laughs> I just realized something, but uh, it's it's given me 200 plus the one shard that I already have. So upgrade. That's kind of weird how that one worked. So that was what I was noticing, right? When I had the Dr. Fate one, it gave me some XP capsules where the other one didn't. So it's like, um, I'm not sure why this one gave me five uh, energy or whatever, XP, whereas the other one didn't. And it did that cool animation that showed me Soul Stealer Dr. Fate or uh, Flash getting leveled up, right? So, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've got these guys to promote. Uh, he's all the way up here because he's got... Uh, He's got a huge amount of threat. So he's going to go from 9k or 9.6k to boom, 12k. That's awesome. That's fucking sick. And then I get another talent, which maybe will put me at 13k. No, it's not. It's hero XP. <clears throat> oh, well, whatever. Uh, but we can upgrade this, which currently I'm at 12.72. And right now it's 13. Boom. With a 25%. Team fast attack chance. So that's sick. Um, I might upgrade some of his shit to get him even higher. But let's see how we do in the um, in the uh, a challenge mode now that we have three pretty damn good um, arcane class heroes. Or not arcane, um, meta class heroes. Um, she also could use upgrading. Um, let's see how far she gets just by... Didn't I just get... Meta human XP capsules? No, I got arcane um, XP capsules. Okay. So how far does she get just with one of these? Not very far. Okay, so there's no point in upgrading her right now. Um, we can upgrade her with tomorrow's resource mission, which is what I was going to do next. I was going to do the, the Wednesday mission um, to get extra um, energy and all of that uh, good stuff. So let's promote uh, Dr. Fate real quick. Dude, the card looks so cool. 
again, much appreciated to all of the super chat people. Valentine, Golden Gamer, um, Lucky Coin, and Shervin House. Especially, um, I want to call out Valentine and um, Shervin House. You guys support me on um, Patreon as well. I fucking love y'all. Thank you so much for keeping me doing what I'm doing as well as uh, um, supporting me just by being really active in the community. It's awesome. Much appreciated, guys. Um, so he's now 3,400 at level 1, and he gets a new um, talent to unlock. Hopefully it's something good. It's nothing good. It's XP, which is pretty good to start out with, I guess, but, you know, it could be better. Um, so he's at 3,440. We upgrade him, and he's going to be 3,505 at level 1, guys. That's awesome. Alrighty guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are a ton of 1.5 changes that we have covered so far, y'all. So if you haven't seen the playlist in the link in the description below, um, that has pretty much every single change within Injustice 2 that happened in the 1.5 update in one of those videos. So go check that out if you'd like to see all of the updates, as well as if you like this video, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. If you want to check out my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon, all of those links are in the description below. On my Twitter, I essentially ask you guys what you want to see in the upcoming videos, as well as posts where I'm going live for live streams on YouTube. On Twitch, it's essentially pretty much any other video game than Injustice 2 Mobile, so it's any console games, PC games, or any other mobile games. And then last but not least, if you want to support me monetarily, that's on Patreon. And you can get Patreon-exclusive content over there, there's giveaways, all kinds of stuff over there, guys, so go check that out if you'd like as well. If you have any questions about the video, um, let me know in the comment section below, or put up, post them on Twitter. You guys know that I try and answer as many of those questions as possible. And that's all, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace, guys.